Hello and welcome to Christchurch Forward for our third of these videos in this season of Thy Kingdom Come, uh, which started on Ascension Day on Thursday and runs through uh, to Pentecost a week on Sunday. Uh, today is our third day of this and our video as we continue to think of the Father's love for us and what that means for us in the way in which we pray and how we pray for God's will to be done, God's kingdom to come amongst us. Uh, and that includes praying for the church and for growth in the church, growth spiritually, prophetically and growth in numbers as we thought about on the first day of these videos. And I want to think a little bit more today about the Father's love for us as we continue to give thanks for that. And I wanted to start today by beginning with a question for you. What came first, the chicken or the egg? It's supposed to be the unanswerable question. And uh, people have given lots of different ways of solving this over the time, but it comes back to the same thing. If the chicken came first, where did the chicken come from? And if the egg came first, what laid the egg? And so we go round in that circle. Here's another question, though, that sounds similar, but actually is much easier to answer. Does God love us because we're good, or are we good because God loves us? Does God love us because we're good, or are we good because God loves us? Let me read uh, a bit from uh, one of the books in the Bible, from John's first letter, uh, 1 John chapter 4, and I'm going to read verses 9 and 10, and then verse 19. This is what John wrote. He said, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And then continuing on to verse 19. We love because he first loved us. And that's really important to remember that God loves us first. We, God doesn't love us because we're deserving of that love. He doesn't love us because we're good and we have shown how worthy we are of that love. No, God's love comes first. He loved us first and then we loved in response to that. It's not that we've earned God's love, but actually that we respond to God's love. And you might want to take a moment to think on that because if our God's love for us depends on how good we are, that leads to the way of fear and uncertainty. Am I actually good enough is the question that we keep having to ask ourselves. Have I really done enough for God to love me? But if God's love comes first, then all that is taken away. And instead we have courage and security. We can reach out, we can take risks for God because we know that what we do isn't going to influence how much he loves us because he already does. And so we can be confident of his love for us and confident of all that he does for us because his love comes first. Again, take a moment to reflect on how amazing that is, how wonderful, how special. And maybe take a moment to think on how God's love has been shown to you. What have you done? Oh, sorry, what have you, how have you experienced God's love? might be in answers to prayer. It might be in going for a walk. I'm doing this video outside and in the beauty of nature. It might be when we're able to worship together. But I bet that often some of the ways that you're thinking of that God has shown his love to you has been through what other people have done in his name how they have shown God's love for you because they have shown that love in their lives. And what I'd like to challenge us today to think about is to think on those five friends or family members that we're praying for and to think how we can show God's love to them. Not because we have to prove it in some way, but just out of the gratitude of God's love given to us, that it overflows within us and to think how best we can show that to the five people that we're praying for, to help them see how much God loves them, just as much as he loves you and me.
and if they don't know that yet, to help them to see how great that is. So let us pray. Thank you, God, that you love us first. Thank you that is seen in so many ways. And thank you for the way in which other people have shown that love to us. Help us to love you in return. And help us to love those that we're praying for and to show them that you love them just as much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.